This is Twit. Sony always shows off cool stuff in their booth uh, regarding usually not in, in addition to all their new 4K TVs, be it LCD or OLED. They were also showing off a prototype display as well. This was a 85 inch 8K screen highlighting their new X1 Ultimate prototype video processor. Key features on this TV, 10,000 nit light output. And yeah, uh, beautiful DCI color spec. All of it. This is effectively a TV for the first time I've seen anywhere that matches the spec for HDR and 4K video. And the beauty there is, is that when it's fed a signal, say from an ultra high depth Blu-ray disc, say that disc is describing a scene with a 4,000 nit highlight in it or a 6,000 nit highlight or a glint off a piece of chrome. The TV doesn't have to really do anything processing wise to map that into lower performance levels it simply says oh you need a 8000 nit highlight in the scene there it is and those those types of processing are referred to as tone mapping and so effectively now you have a, a prototype display yeah but generally this will be something you'll see in a couple more years down the road but you have a display that can effectively match the performance characteristics of the hdr spec and it is phenomenal in terms of image quality I stood literally three feet away from the display, 10,000 nits. It's not as if the whole screen is pure white blowing out that kind of light. It's really just the highlights in the scene. And the cues you get from especially natural content, be it they were shooting some beautiful vehicles, outdoor nature scenes and things like that, it's far more realistic than you could, than anything I've ever seen before in terms of it looked like an outdoor daylight scene, and it wasn't. It wasn't overwhelming to my eyes. And the other factor it really well, highlighted for me. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I mean, we should, oh, is, we should put this into context because, you know, we saw a lot of stuff at CES 2018 from like, oh my goodness, you know, Samsung is going to catch up to, oh my goodness, OLEDs from LG got better to, oh my goodness, oh, yeah. you know, high senses back in it. But the thing that blew you away more than anything else was having this 10K television from Sony that was delivering an absolute full HDR spec. I just want to put that in. Just, totally. You were talking about that for like a week and a half afterwards with great it, intensity and admiration. <laughs> it's that fact that I really expected it to take a lot longer to get a TV that could do full spec HDR considering the, uh, the spec itself defines a certain color output. The, no TV is hitting the full Rec 2020 color palette. But the one most commonly used within Hollywood is called DCI. And it's a subset of that larger than our current HD color palette. And it provides more saturated, realistic colors, especially when you're dealing with very saturated objects, be it a, a beautiful Ferrari red paint job or the Caribbean blue in certain scenes, that, that cyan color that's just unobtainable in the old spec. And, and not only that, but with that amount of light output, it can literally match it without having to resort, resort to tone mapping. And beyond that, the other thing it really highlighted to me was that we talk about LG's OLEDs and OLED technology in general that ability to do that perfect black really improves the perception of color saturation. Colors look more saturated when they have a dark color next to them, or if the if it is a black background and that is pure black, the colors will look more rich and vibrant compared to a TV that has a black level that is not quite pure black, maybe a dull gray or even a dark gray. On the other end of that is when you have a TV that can dump out 10,000 nits, that alone also makes color look more saturated and bright. Physically, the colors are brighter coming off the screen and into your eyes. That was as impressive to my eyes as is a pure black you know, background, say, on an OLED screen. Now, uh, when the Sony TV did go to a full black screen, it clearly didn't have the absolute best black levels ever. However, it was a pure prototype, and it was fantastic to look at. 